Tell me, what brings you to U.S. Masters National Championships? A little swimming, a little fun, a good group of teammates. Enjoy the, the social aspect of the meet. What brings you to Masters Nationals? This is my first Nationals meet and I'm very excited to be here. And I didn't meet the qualifying time, but I thought I wanted to go anyway. And I just swam the qualifying time. <laughs> the sun from Portland, so we get a lot of rain. So you take the opportunity to get in the sun a little bit and do some uh, competing. Well, I got done with college swimming and wanted to stay in shape and um, got hooked up with this team and um, they asked me to come, so I decided to come and swim a few events. And are you having a good time? Yes, very. This is kind of part of our lives that we don't ever miss, right? It's um, one of the happiest weekends. We're with friends, we bring family, uh, we get to pretend we're 20 for the weekend and it just makes us all feel great. Thanks, Misty. Misty Hyman, Olympic gold medalist. Rowdy, someone you swam with in no well. Doing such a good job on the deck for us, Rob. But you also think about the great Olympians in the water, like Josh Davis, Ed Moses, who's making a great comeback himself. And then some of the older guys like myself, Jeff Farrell, 74 years old, still kicking around. And we, have, nice. and we have national team members Absolutely. as well. We have Jeff Cummings, and we have Steve West, and Polly Surhoff, someone who you swam with. Yeah, I swam with her back in 82. So. Everybody's here for so many different reasons, but once again, it's great to welcome the Olympians back into the Masters family. Rowdy, I know we came into this meet and there was some thoughts without the suits that we wouldn't see any records, but by our count, close to 20 today, yourself, 50 free, breaking a record too. Yeah, it was kind of a surprise for myself to go so fast in the 50 freestyle. I've been training really well and it was really fun to do that. And even you were in the same heat as a national record. So I think we're gonna see a lot of different records broken here this weekend. You know, Rowdy, as Misty shared with us earlier about family being so important, I know you brought some of your family members out here too. It, 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 and, and that's what's so great. We've been talking about it. It's a recurring theme here on the deck. It's family. It's welcoming so many different swimmers for so many different reasons into the Masters family. And my sister, who was going to swim in the meet, decided not to at the last minute, but still came all the way here from Chicago. And we've seen that a lot with a lot of different swimmers here on the deck. She's cheering for you here. We saw her earlier. So why don't we go now and watch some of the footage from earlier today? What I like about this is everybody's, you know, this is the meat that everybody's been training for, so there's just enough adrenaline, but at the same time, everybody's talking, everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. I love that. That's how all meats should be, where everybody's quick with a smile and quick to say hello. So you got the best of both here at Masters Nationals. I'm very thankful for my coach, Susan Ingram at Masters of South Texas, and I just love being here at this meet, and uh, I just hope to do it my whole life, and everybody here at this meet is an inspiration to me. I'm in the entertainment business and I do a show all over the world called Wyatt Earp Life on the Frontier that's a biodrama in which people get to experience the story Hollywood never told. I grew up in Indianapolis, Indiana and back in the days I was underdog councilman and relocated to Arizona in the late 60s and coached the master swim program at the downtown YMCA. So uh, it's been a great joy to me. Secrets to survive in a rough town like uh, Tombstone. Let's keep your eye on the door and your back to the wall and your ear open for the unexpected. Whenever I have gunfire, I'm flying on the floor. Now, since I left Georgia, I have become intimate with a lot of floors. Well, I joined the Masters two years ago and just started swimming and entered all the meets. And since this was right in Arizona, so we entered. She loves it and it's great to watch her and put her whole effort into it. Used to swim in college uh, 18 years ago. Um, drove my whole family, I'm a truck driver. We drove out from Muncie, Indiana. Uh, my whole family's here representing Team Baleka. Uh, we all got on our team uniforms. I got my kids ages um, six to 15. And uh, so we're here. First competitive race really since conference my senior year. So five years, I'm pleasantly, pleasantly surprised with, uh, with that time. 
kind of nice to be here and not have to be thinking about you know interviews and tracking down people and doing all that all stuff, stuff and just exactly it's kind of nice to not have your job here this weekend and just focus on the pool I've been racing Steve for many years I mean we go back many years so I knew he was gonna be a good racer so I knew I couldn't just hold back and and just expect him to you know just kind of hold back too the only point of doing this is to have fun so you know when you get out there and you race and going to the meets makes you go to work out so uh, it's just for fun you know I mean I think USMS is great my team in Irvine and Nova Aquatics we have about 500 athletes it's really fun to get out there a lot of people are really into swimming and it you know for someone who's been in swimming for over you know almost 25 years uh, it's refreshing to come to practice and have people that are all really excited about swimming fast and doing great times and they like having us there you know the people who have swam at a high level coming in and swimming with them so it's really a great thing not have any expectations just go out there and have fun whether it's in workout or in a race it just makes it so much fun and plus 100 ims and 50s of the strokes i, I can't pass that up <laughs> i didn't really swim competitively until i retired at 72 and it's just so much fun you meet people and and you become fast friends with them. U.S. Masters is a really good organization. It's so good. I didn't, I didn't know anything coming here about this meet. This is my first one, and I've been swimming Masters for a couple months now. As soon as I stepped out here yesterday, a lot of those things that I told you I was worried about, they went away. It's, uh, it's really all about getting into your environment and just swimming. A lot of it is up top. And like I said, I felt horrible. I, I had a good result, but. It's all about what's created here. I mean, there's almost 2,000 swimmers here. Great pool, outdoor, 95 degrees, and you just look around and there's people that are happy. They love the sport, they're having fun, and I lost a lot of that. But when I stepped back out here yesterday and saw the fun that people were having, it really reminded me what it's really about. This is a big part of my life, and I'm gonna remember it forever. So Rowdy, more great stories and fast swimming. We're going to turn the page to tomorrow. It's uh, the midway point. And of course, we got the longest day on the schedule and we have relays. Yeah, relays are so much fun. I still got some of my Team Blue Frog members still flying in. Got a couple relays tomorrow. A lot of events. It's the busiest day of the schedule. It's kind of fun, though. It's going to be one big party, Rob. We've got nearly 2,000 of our best friends going to have a great time on Saturday. So as you've seen here, lots of stories, lots of competition. If you've never been to a Nationals, please do consider coming. Everyone is welcome. So that's it here for day two from the Spring Nationals. Be sure to stay tuned to USMS.org for regular updates.